Hello, everybody. <clears throat> Welcome back from more Elden Ring. We are continuing on exploring Leonia of the Lakes. Still trying to find our, uh, I think it was a glint stone key. Ahoy, Mr. Drew. Thank you for dropping in. I'm hoping that you have been having a pleasant Tuesday. There's a lot of bloodstains in here. So yeah, when we capped off last night, we killed... We got another bunch of cerulean tears from an Erd tree uh, avatar. And ended off in this catacomb, so... My plan to start is to clear out this catacomb, then... Ooh, my message was praised. Then head off back to the round table hold, upgrade my claymore because I can. And then uh, continue searching for this key. Aww. That was cute. He tried to... I was ready for you. You guys always do that. Let me, let me turn on my lantern for you guys. I know it's darker on the, on the stream than it actually is for me. Still not quite sure... Well, we're going to be fixing that soon, because there's a new rig on the way. Okay, that didn't tell me it opened the main door. So what did I actually just activate? Hidden door? Oh my god, it's a... It worked! It... It worked! Alright, confirmed. You hit the illusory walls in this game. You don't have to activate them Dark Souls 2 style, which is good. There was a rune arc in there. Okay! No, oh, well. Welly, welly, well. Okay. This is going to have me hitting so many extra walls. Hidden wall! No. <laughs> Obviously that one wasn't. That That is the first one of those I've found in the entire game. So far. Look, buddy. Buddy. You made the mistake of throwing it at that close range. I, I cannot be held accountable for your actions. Hidden wall? Oh my god. This dungeon is filled with hidden walls. Like, literally, no hidden walls for the entire playthrough up until this dungeon. And, like, it's filled with them. That is kind of awesome. And what was Firewall saying last night? Like, be sure to hit the thing. It might be a human wall. The messenger. Hidden wall. Messengers. The messages left by players might be leading you in the right direction. Like, those messages are trolls. And you know, actually, to that point, each of the walls that I broke down, no message in front of. Every wall I've hit with a message in front of? Bullshit. What the hell is a watchdog staff? Oh, right. Stabs aren't here. Uh, maybe it is there. <laughs> 16 decks for that, huh? Ah, it is. 34 strength required. Ooh. Oh, it's the, the b burial, it's the bury, it's the cat boss's staff. Cool. Large stone staff embedded with glint stone wielded by Erdtree burial watchdogs who protect catacombs. The watchdogs, battered and broken over their lengthy tenure, rule the catacombs and are even said to command the imps. Unique skill, sorcery of the crozier. 
Channel magic into the glintstone to activate an ancient sorcery, producing floating magical projectiles that chase enemies automatically. Okay, so what the last cat was doing to me, I can do with that. That's really cool. Hi! Delayed, but I still got you. Hidden wall! No, it had a torch on it. <laughs> oh! <laughs> Hidden floor trap. Okay. Obviously hidden wall. Yeah. Yeah. I saw I saw that coming. Is it just the two that are on either side, or...? I'm on to you fuckers. Usually, this chest seems very important. The chain is not outstretched. I wonder if that still holds true. But the fact that that is literally a Dark Souls chest with chain and all scares me. Well, it definitely wasn't a mimic. Rhea Lucaria soldier's asses. Oh. Is that so? So basically, like, my Godric soldiers' ashes, but the Rhea Lucaria dudes? Three! Cost 59 mind. Sorry, jellyfish. Um, I gotta test that. That sounds simply... <laughs> Indeed it does. Okay, so now we don't have a boss door. But I've found hidden walls everywhere. There aren't any in here, are there? Hidden wall! No. Hidden wall! No. Hidden wall! No. Hidden... No. <laughs> Told you. Hidden wall? That one was more believable. No. Okay. <laughs> That's what this dungeon is going to be. Just like, hidden wall? Hidden wall? Maybe this? No. No. It seems to solely be like archway type things. Hidden wall? Nope. These archways at all? Only really one way to find out. And that's desecrate coffins. Until there's no coffins left to desecrate. All these walls are fake. Hmm. No. Okay. 
That one actually looked like it could have been, just the way the bushes were half drooping out of it. Okay, these were the first two that we found, so definitely none over here. I already hit all those. Figuratively and literally. Um, okay. So, it looks like... What the hell? Oh, got a really cool hammer out of it. Out of it. And a cool new, like, spirit buddy. In wall? No. And this is the way out. That can't be it. There's no way there is not a boss in here. Can I hit this again? No. When in doubt, drop your sign. Hi, DK. You've caught me exploring the first dungeon with hidden walls and like everywhere. Like this was a hidden wall. This was a hidden wall. That was not open before. Or at least I didn't notice it. But yeah, there were tons of hidden walls that led to a cool chest. And also a boss weapon. Hidden wall? Hidden wall. And there haven't been any hidden walls this entire game so far. <laughs> Up to this point. Hidden wall! Yeah, that one was obvious. And there's the boss door. That's why it didn't tell me that it clicked, because it was obscured. Okay. I, what? Oh, I got summoned. <laughs> Secret tunnel! Through the mountain! Help Starman! Hey, Starman! I like it when we have talkative people. Secret, 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 secret tunnel. Oop. Hey! Hey! You were supposed to be dead. Like the rest of your friends. <laughs> we all did it. <laughs> I feel less like an idiot now. Yeah. I had the knowledge of just having done this, so... Alright guys, it's boss fight time. was actually a very small dungeon. Oh, 
I'll just wait for them over here. I think they're just testing walls right now. <laughs> they are. Look at this sexy beast. Can I leave a message in another person's world? That's a good question. Let's be deep about it. Why is it always chaos? Alright, back to being the edge lord that I am. No, this even I'm getting bored by this. But we can leave messages in other people's worlds. It's not, it's not so much brooding, it's just being more like, yo, buddy. I'm waiting. You, you gonna make the first move, or? You chillin'? Alright, let's go. Sultry souls. Who are you? Spirit color snail. Why do you have the tree sentinel's music? And how did I not do damage to you? Oh, because you're not the boss. Sneaky, it's like a Witch of Hemwick deal. That's so cool! <laughs> this boss is so dead. Can I get back home? Yes, that's right. Keep the big... Oh, he died. <laughs> Hello, Bello. I just figured out how to kill a boss I had never seen in someone else's world. But I found it first. And I helped lead them through. This has been an awesome dungeon. Like, the whole... <laughs> to, to, to get y'all caught up, Bello. We started the stream in this dungeon. Throughout the entire game, I have found no hidden walls. I have hit so many walls and nothing happened. And this dungeon, full of frigging trick walls that when you hit them, they turn into corridors. So I just got to lead some guy through and we got to the boss for him before I got to fight it. And I realized there's a trick to this boss too. It's like a theme of this dungeon. Hidden, hidden walls, hidden boss. That guy looks scary. He not the boss. Spirit Caller Snail is your kind of your key. That's the boss. So the real boss is playing keep away. Ow! Rude! Oh, that does it for him. Bye! Sorcerer Ashes. Oh, like, the 
the games made by this company, which this game is very much similar to in a lot of ways, is notorious for putting hidden walls everywhere. So, like, the entire game, I've been hitting random walls here and there, being like, hidden wall? No. Hidden wall? No. And this whole dungeon's gimmick was not just hidden walls, but hidden boss as well. Really cool. Did not expect that. That was an awesome, awesome little side dungeon. Tiny as it was. Alright, and we are still... Don't have a map fragment for the part of the lake that I'm on. So, I'm going to continue trying to find that for now. 7k more souls to level. I'm thinking it might be in that poison swamp area that I saw. So, let's go trudge through a poison swamp. Ah, you found that rather hi well-hidden messy room. It's so well-hidden because he was so embarrassed, you see. But yeah, now, now you have his help and his disc. And I'm glad to see you were having so much fun with Narita Boy. I was kind of... I didn't... Because I remembered after you said you got it exactly how much reading there is in that game. And... It's always a crapshoot to see how, like, games with lots of text will play in streams. But it looks like it turned out really well for you, and I'm glad you are enjoying that game. Because, yeah, Narita Boy is awesome. <laughs> Very smart pupper, Bello. Very smart pupper. Good boy. You get all the treats and boops. All the treats and boops. This jellyfish just gets all the slash and stabs because he's stingy. Not stingy anymore, though, because you're dead. Alright. God, I want to get in there so badly. Need to find my key. Mm-hmm. No, that, that's actually one of the things I really love games with a lot of reading in it as well. Because it's helped me get a lot better at, like, just reading out loud and sight reading. Of course, you know, since I basically read scripts as part, as part of my job, I'm already kind of good at, like, sight reading. But, you know, it really helps with that. Like, I, I actually used games like Hollow Knight when I played through that on stream to uh, practice doing voices, as Drew can attest. Drew was there for a lot of my Hollow Knight streams, and uh, we, we played with a lot of funny voices. Hello, tentacle porn. Oh, cut off one of your tentacles. How sad. Now you can only cut one person at a time. Sorry, was that too adult? Let, let me make a new hole for you. Stick my sword in real deep. Oh, you like that deep penetration there? Go back to Japan. God, I hope that's not racist. Ow! Look, just because I killed your mom doesn't mean you have to... I am not the girl from Evil Dead and you are not a tree. Right, moving on. It really is fun to play, like, around with, like, the characters and where you think, like, their voices might go based on, like, what emotion what they're saying is instilling in you or interpreting it, like, how they would see it. It's a lot of fun, though. Oh, God! Do not flatten me, or your child will die. Look, I warned you, I warned you, but you continue to try and flatten me. You really didn't like that. I get it. I get it. You're mad. I, you're mad. You're so mad. You're very mad. I get it. I get it. I get it. I get it. Please. Just, just please. I'm, 
look, don't make me kill another one. I swear. Like, do you, do you want this? Do, do you want this? I'm, I'm asking you. I'm asking you nice. Do you want this? You want this. Okay. I warned you. I warned you, did I not? But you had to be protective of your territory. And let this be a lesson to you. You be protective of your territory, or you be protective of your young. You can't have it both ways. Lesson learned, I hope. Wow, that got really intense there. I like... <laughs> I was really mean to him. I wonder if that's habit forming. Anyway, Poison Swamp is down there. You know, I'm already pointed north. What's north? Clam? What clam? Oh! Technically, it was a beak. I, I, I was a beak fucker. I wonder if that counts as oral. Probably did. Ooh! Scarab! No! It's a teleporty scarab! Where'd you teleport to? There you are. Oh, and there's a flying scarab over there. Where'd he go now? Where is he? Where is he? There's a lot of flying scarabs here. But I want the teleporting one. Where'd you go, buddy? Where'd you go? I hear you. There you are. Let's see if this works. YOLO STRIKE! Fuck! <laughs> it was a land octopus, <laughs> Mr. Drew. It was, uh, it was not a clam. I've found crab, I've found lobster, I've found land octopi. I have not found a land clam yet. But I would not put it past them because of course there were clam enemies in Dark Souls and they were vicious vicious clam gah gah vicious clams oh my god you are you are a tit I'm gonna break this and come back to you get my room Topes Barrier. Interesting. those are giving me. This seems important. Oh! Am I gonna, like, piss off the mother of all scarabs or something by doing this? Like, what's going on here? Ahoy, the Jew Kashu! Welcome back. You have caught me at the start of a stream this time. Murdering a bunch of defenseless scarabs who aren't giving me really anything. That's the last one. Let's see if something happens when I get the last one.
Nothing? That's the tree I already got, right? No, I'm... Oh, wait. Yeah, that's the tree I already got. That was very bizarre. Really weird area. I'm seriously wondering what that did. Okay, so instead of going south to the poison swamp, we've come north to this whole part. An underbrush with. Is that more of the cartwheel dudes? Yeah. No, it's a dude on a horse. Oh! No! No with the bell. You don't need to use your bell. Or a mule kick of any kind. It's okay. It's okay. There's a bunch of these guys over here. in here. Ooh, another smithing stone plus three. Oh, right. I was gonna go to the round table hole. But you know, I'm this far out. I'm actually back on the actual map. So... Their way up there, maybe. Sleeping lobster. Oh. You're a jumpy crawfish. Now he's mad that I called him crawfish. fight all of you at once. That's not a good thing. We'll, uh, we'll let sleeping lobsters lie for now. So we got bats over there. We're back off map. So, ah! Sight of Grace. Perfect. So I can go to the round table hold and then we can warp right back here. Like we never left. Oh, it removes the cape. Don't want to remove the cape. Right, I can't level yet. Or can I? Let's see, I'm at 15. I need what, 22? 20. So that's only just over 4,000. I sh actually should be able to get that. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Done. Done. Should have used them both. Okay, it was just over 5,000. There we go. That does it. God, it does nothing. Probably because the thing I'm using scales to... But it allows me to use more spells. And it rounds it up to 15.
Oh, I can finally use the, uh, the dragon fire. Uh, no, we, we want the, the actual healing spell on there. But yeah, that's good. So, this spell, which is what we got when we killed a Gil all the way back in the day, for those who haven't seen it before. If you hold it, you do the two. But, oh wow, it like totally costs all my magic to do. <laughs> but yeah, that's fun. That that's a lot of fun. And thank you everybody who's tuned in to to join us. I appreciate having all of you with us. Those who are just lurking, those who are chatting, you all are awesome. And thank you all. Oh, your divinity have mercy and grant me forgiveness. The road is yet long, what? but God is not easily felled. But one day without fail, you will have your wish. What? So please grant me forgiveness, Queen America. Hmm. I wonder if this is tied to, like, me meeting Vare in the church and him kind of telling me about the f fingers and all that. Huh. Here is it. I didn't notice you there. I'll be doing my job, same as ever. Just lay out your arms. No, no, no. You, you don't get to just go back to work without telling me about that, buddy. What's this all about, Hugh? Those words were not meant for you. I may be prisoner to you, tarnished lot, but my prayers are mine, and mine alone. Well, I've had my say. I'll be more careful, too. Yeah, we can talk to him more about Roderica. The girl. What about her? Would you watch over her? He can't really watch over much, man. He's like chained to the wall. But okay. Are you out of your mind? Who'd stay with an ugly brute who only knows how to smith? Well, I love you. Besides, she'd never agree to it. Of course, I love you. You you make my weapons beefier. It's what she wants. Oh, okay. I guess she told me about it, I, and I forgot. <laughs> I refuse so. to believe it. I don't doubt you, but I know when something's too good to be true. Well, this is an interesting little kind of side story that we stumbled into. Oh, what am I short on? Souls. I'm short on souls. Because I've definitely got the smithing stone for it. So you know what? Let's giver. Screw it. All 35 of the basic ones. Because uh, I can get those back in no time. Oh my god, that was a that lot. Already. No matter. Oh, I can make it plus 9. I got the smithing stones to do it. Oh, I can make it plus 10. I got the smithing stones to do it. Oh, oh, it can go to plus 11. They don't cap it plus 10 anymore. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. <laughs> mm hmm. Okay. Okay. You know what? Yeah, we'll do it, because I have been using it. There. Plus six seal. Boom. Upgrades. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yep. 
Yes, that spell is very excessive, the Jukushu. It's one of the reasons why I love it. Um, and thank you for reminding me. I really need to get back to Disco Elysium at some point. But for now, I need a hug. Fia, I need a hug. Fia. I'm pleased to see you again. Would you like me to hold you once more? The blessing is still a flame in your breast, dear. Would you like to be held? Regardless? Oh yes, Fia. I, I I just like threatened to murder an octopus's children for for defending its territory, and then I followed through and taunted and penetrated and rammed through that octopus mother. I think I need a hug. Now, come closer. Oh. Well, after a night of hard coding the Jukushu, it's nice to to come and relax with with you your old so friends. Very warm. Have a brewski. And, good day to you, my dear. and get all your frustrations out through the catharsis of watching some poor setup being me die over and over again in a fantasy world created by the most sadistic fantasy author and most sadistic video game developer we could find. George R. R. Martin and Hidetaka Miyazaki. And I'm still saying that my murder of Kenneth Height, like, ages ago, last week, when, when we were all drunk together, that was me feeling that there was not enough George R. R. Martin in this story, and I just had to have inflict a little bit of random death to make that so. Where the hell did Offner go? If I do talent for spirit tuning and goodness knows that would be a surprise so you don't have anything new to say I should try to hone it shouldn't i i'll ask master hugh to teach me ah good okay so she had nothing new to say what's going on with the fingers the literal two fingers y'all's very weird very weird. What about you? Ah, you have returned. What is it? <laughs> hey, there's there's tons of clipping in this game, Bello. It's it's hilarious. Like really, if I have the shield on my back, if I wasn't wearing the cape. Like, you can even see, my, my scabbard is floating. I am that magical. Like, that scabbard is not clipped to anything. Let alone resting on the cape. It is literally floating, like, a good three inches off my body. <laughs> so you want to talk about clipping. <laughs> like, oh man. <laughs> but it really doesn't matter. <laughs> Okay, so you also still have absolutely nothing new. Nothing new. Nothing new. You and, you and your creepy fingers can just... I do not consent. <laughs> I don't care about your incantations. I like you, D. Moggy. <laughs> Nothing yet. Maybe I have to give... Uh, right, I have another thing that I can give to the Beast Cleric. You're back. Do you have anything new to say since I found you, like, sobbing over the corpse of your servant girl that you told me to find? Ah, you again, is it? The recusant sent a lackey. Can you believe they invited me to join them? Now, after what they did... Really? I can scarcely believe it myself. Do they think me a fool? You might be surprised to learn I took them up on the offer. Then they only had to ask. The location of the recusant hideout. It's on Mount Gelmir, found off the old road that leads west from the town of Windmills. That's where they hide. The manor on the peak. 
Just mm. you wait, wretched recusants. You'll rue the day you insulted my name by laying hands on Lanya. The tale of House Hoslo is told in blood, after all. Something tells me that it'll be told in your blood by the end of its tale. It's on Mount Gelmir, found off the old road that leads west from the town of Windmills. That's where they hide. The manor on the peak. I have no Just idea where wait. any of that is. Recusants. Have not found any of that. Oslo is told in blood after all. Well, I'll see you there, I'm sure. You, I'm sure, have nothing new to say. You're just a merchant. Oh, the store is open again. What the? I didn't even touch anything. You still being an edgelord? Don't want to talk? No? Okay. Ah, oh, Offner's back in here, huh? What are you saying, Offner? You've received the wisdom of the two fingers, have you not? Then, just as promised, I bid you welcome. As a true member of the Round Table, I am known as Gideon Ofnir. As a tarnished who wishes to stand before the Elden Ring and become Elden Lord, I am accumulating knowledge to be all-knowing. You now belong to a select group of fellows. As such, I ask that you remain constant. Constantly what? You'll be after more great runes now, eh? Then, as your fellow, allow me to divulge a little knowledge. The inheritors of the great runes, the shard bearers. We of the round table know the location of five of them, including the one you defeated. Godric the Grafted, Lord of Stormvale. General Radan, who fought Melania and her rot to a standstill in the Caelid Wilds. Mm. Praetor Rykard, Lord of the Volcano Manor of Mount Gelmir. Morgoth, the grace given, veiled monarch and lord of Lane Dell, and Renala, queen of the full moon, ruler of Rhea Lucaria's academy. You'll still be after more great runes, won't you? Well, there's five. Oh, very cool. Who's Nephili? He didn't mention a Nephili. Let's go through them one by one. This is lore here. Story! In a game where the story is vague and mostly told through item descriptions and the vague musings of NPCs. So, Godric the Grafted, Lord of Stormvale. Dead by my hand. being the blood of Godfrey, first Elden Lord, he's a grotesque old fool grasping for power. Was. His castle lies upon the cliff to Limgrave's northwest. Lay. I suspect you know that well enough already. Yes. You need better grammar. That should have all been in past tense. So, Godric, despite being the blood of his castle, what I suspect. Alright, tell me a bit about Radan. General Radan, the famed Red Lion and Scourge of the Stars, is a ferocious warrior. He fought Melania and her rot to a standstill in the Caelid Wilds to Limgrave's East. And now, Caelid has been engulfed by the Scarlet Rot. Even approaching the region is no mean feat. Yeah, I've Caelid's heard. nasty. The survivors of Radan's army are still in the wilds, staving off the rot with fire. Mm. And if it's true, I suspect Radan is still there as well, in Caelid. Though, I doubt he much resembles his former self anymore. Well, that'll be the, bo the main boss of Caelid. About this Rikard guy. Praetor Rikard is the lord of the volcano manor on Mount Gelmir. Ah. He's a ruthless justicia who commands a company of inquisitors, reviled for his serpentine demeanor. The recusants. The volcano, Mount Gelmir, lies in the west of the Altus Plateau, the realm of the Erd Tree. It was the stage of the most appalling battle in the entirety of the Shattering. Rikard has committed the grave sin of blasphemy. Marking himself as an enemy never to be forgiven. Alright. What about this Morgoth guy? Morgoth the Grace given is Lord of Landell, the capital city. It lies at the foot of the Erd Tree, in the east of the Altus Plateau. But the two fingers forbid us from venturing there. Until we've acquired enough great runes to repair the Elden Ring. Set your sights elsewhere for the time being. The Veiled Monarch can wait. 
Well, I already set foot in that place due to a transport trap. God, it was pretty. But, uh, yeah, we'll go there eventually, I'm sure. All right. Since I'm more than likely about to fight Renala next, if I'm going to stick around in Liurnia, why don't you tell me about her? The Academy of Rhea Lucaria lies to Lingrave's north, towering over the mist-laden lands of Liurnia. Renala is queen of the Carian royals who govern the Academy, but Renala herself is no demigod. Her beloved Radagon left her to become Queen Marika's second husband, taking the title of King Consort. Hmm. The great rune dwells within the Amber Egg that was Radagon's gift to her. And finally, the one you did not mention. Who is this Nefeli? I understand you've been speaking to Nefeli. I have been? She's my daughter. I took her in when she lost the guidance of grace. Though a mere axe-wielding barbarian, her youthful credulity suited my purposes. Oh. So I put her to work. Do not hesitate to employ her. Should her services benefit you? Despite her looks, she is more than capable in the press of battle. Oh, so Nefeli Lu is not Hora Lu's daughter. She's Ofnir's adopted daughter. Maybe she was related to Horalu. We haven't seen much of uh, of the Lord of the of the Beast of the Beastlands. I think he'll be in the Altus Plateau if at all. Well, thank you, uh, Sir Gideon Ofnir. Thank you for all that. Do you guys have anything new to sell before I leave? Still no bell offerings. Don't know what those are. I want those. But not now. I, I can... You can hang on to those. I'll be back for those. Okay. So... Let's get back to where we were. Over here. Foot of the Four Belfries. That sounds like uh, we're heading into church territory to me. It's pointing me over there. Those jellies are already pissed. Well, let's take my new plus 10 claymore and go have some fun. Hi, guys! Ooh, that stings. Jellyfish shield. <laughs> and some blood grease. A jellyfish shield. Is a great shield. Apparently. The head of a spirit jellyfish commonly found floating above sacred ground throughout the lands between... Wielded without modification as a shield. The see-through head is extremely light, but its flesh is supple, providing absolutely no protection from piercing attacks. Contagious fury. Incite the jellyfish's wrath and allow its fury to flow through you. Raises attack power for certain duration. It has 100% physical, it's just no good against piercing. You know what? How much does it weigh? Okay, I'm still fat ro I'm still mid rolling. Let let's check it out. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> okay, that that's a little on the silly side. 
What's this, uh... Oh. Okay, well, there's a camp here. And... Dun, 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 dun. Ow! Ooh! Oh! The disrespect! I deserve that, kind of. not the best top, but it tries. Yeah, it's, uh... You know what? I like my other shield better. And this time, I'm bringing friends. Y'alls are fine where you Oh, there... Okay, fine. If you guys are gonna do that, I was gonna let you live. Like, it did not have to be this way, Jellies. This did not have to happen. You brought this on yourselves. Okay, so I actually can't summon here. Whoa. Come on. Next. I really hate you guys for that. Oh, I can summon here. I just have to be close enough. Oh! Oh! Oh, those are the Godric ones. I put the, uh... I put the, uh... Ray Lucari ones on the on the left hand side. Alright, well, come on boys, let's get them. They got sheepdogs and everything. I don't like you. Oh my god, the dog! Oh, there's a pumpkin head. I like that one of the soldiers is a crossbow user and the other one has the sword. It's a it's a good combination. Look. You were just bad at your job. Did you not hear what was going on? <laughs> Cuckoo Glintstone. coming from up there. Oh, you're, you are one with a flail, but you are also blind as a bat. Ooh.
They still don't want to give me his helmet. That was kind of cool that he just, like, stamped the banner down. He's like, all right. Oh, I'm very dirty with my backstabs, Bello. Oh, dear. That's right, you tie up that soldier. Go. These two Godric guys are really good. There are a lot of chests in this place. Ooh, a smithing stone four. Albaneric blood clot. Ooh, and hot cocoa from the boy, because the boy is awesome. Ah. Mwah, and a kiss for luck from the boy, because the boy is awesome. Hi, buddy! Off you go! We're good. Hey, buddy. Ooh. That was one of my soldiers. Put up a good fight. Kaku Knight's armor. <laughs> yep. High and by. That that's how that's how we like to kill our kill our soldiers. You It is just a standard mage up there. Standard little noble mage. I'm coming for you, buddy. I already came for your little dog. Now I'm coming for you. There's a way into the forest over there. More Cuckoo Glintstone. Alright, where's the bleeding mage? There he is. Camp. All right. What was that sound? Anyway. This looks interesting to me. I, whoa. Hi. Spirit giant. Ooh. Headless giant. How do you roar without a head? That move. That was rude. There we go. Hey. That was a neat fight. Oh, 
Okay. So what else we got in here? What are you? Jellyfish? Jellies? More jellies. More giants. Giants and jellies. That that's what this little foresty area has. We are still completely off map. Put up a valiant effort. Hmm. Grave glove ward. Very misty. So they're, like, if we're fighting, like, big ghost giants and sacred jellyfish spirits, there's gotta be something important around here, right? 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 Maybe? Yes? No? Hot dog? Hi! Gonna keep stabbing him here. It doesn't matter, he has no head. Okay, well, yeah, there's definitely something important up here. Uh huh. Path of the Four Belfries. Gotcha. Still no map fragment for this area, and that's starting to worry me. The Four Belfries. What do we have here? Use imbued sword key. I don't have an imbued sword key. So obviously an imbued sword key will activate that transporter. Is that the same for this? Yep. Because yellow is for my stone sword key. I'm guessing that blue means it needs to be imbued. Am I going to find one up here? Same thing with you. Oh, chest on this one. Let me guess. Three? Just one. And a side of grace. Have a good one, Bello. Thank you so much for stopping in. Enjoy your movie.
All right, so we got, whoa, that is. Screenshot worthy. Okay, well, we found one. Let's go top down. So bonk, then bonk, then bonk. Where is this taking us? Is this how I get my glintstone key? Or is this something else entirely? Nakron, Eternal City. Oh, damn. This is... We've been staring at this from Lake Siafra, which is... Lake Siafra is all the way over there. <laughs> well, this place looks chill. Well, darling, this is simply... Okay. Well, then. There's no way back from there, so we're going to have to find a way back elsewhere. Uh, yeah, that's the, the lit up one that we could see from all the way over there. Yeah, we're actually very close to... Siafra Lake, because that's just what everything down there by those pillars is. Like, this is... Okay, so we're underground. <laughs> this is really cool. <laughs> okay. Uh-huh. Okay, we continue going down, I guess. Until it starts looking fatal. That's not fatal. That is also not fatal. This is our way down. down without dying so we're now above Siafra River in like the gorgeous friggin star like gem swept area we were looking at for a long time not up there yet but I have a feeling that one of these three belfries is gonna lead me up there and I'm willing to bet you dollars to donuts that's a boss fight I mean it's it says boss arena so hard it's Frigging glowing. Who are you? Friend or foe? Are you a crucible knight? Oh my god, it is a crucible knight. Oh dear. <laughs> oh, yeah, you not sneaking up on him easy. Bitch. 
I deserve that. And that. souls. <laughs> Underground over there. <laughs> I don't have any other of those imbued keys, so this is the only one I can go through so far. Some of this here, cocoa. Hmm. Warm me up while I think of a game plan here. Because these guys are no joke. And I'm going to fight them at a place where I could, like, fall off at any second is rather nerve-wracking. Um, I think we're going to YOLO start this fight. Shouldn't have rolled back. Whoa! Okay, that that's a new move. Easy move to dodge, though. Alright. I think we got this. I think we got this good. I just gotta remind myself of the range of that, like, charging thrust attack of his. It is so dirty. Let's go.
Come on, buddy. Oh, I hate you. Come on. That was some chug. <sighs> Crucible Knights are like the new Black Knights of Gwyn. Except they are not backstabbable, <laughs> from what I can tell. I mean, that was the one weakness of Black Knights of Gwyn, is you could backstab the hell out of them. I'm sure if I was better at parrying, I could parry the hell out of these guys, but I suck at parrying, so... I wonder what spell he's gonna give me when I kill him. We got each other. Not that time, though. Tough fight, but we can get him. Totally get him. So that's the second non-boss version of those guys that we found. And each of them gave me a spell that was like an aspect of some of what they do. I wonder if this guy's going to give me like a fire-breathing spell. Because he totally used that when the other two had a tail. Or maybe he has the tail too, and he's just got, like, multiple tricks up his sleeve. We'll see. I'll just be happy when he's dead.
Damn it. These guys are really intense. And now I feel like I'm locked into that because like that's about half a level on the ground there. And this is a really cool area too. I think this is a really cool place. I want to see more of it. And I'm sure I could just ignore this guy and keep going, but... I am starting to scale up my faith, and this guy's probably going to have a badass miracle like the last two had that I might want to use. I mean, I guess I could try, like, tanking hits with my shield to try and stagger him with, like, jumps and guard counters, but... All right, you. Oh.
Come on, you. I just got far too defensive. I needed to get more aggressive after that. But I was learning his moves, seeing what he was doing. That is a really tough one. His fire-based moves are a lot harder to dodge than I thought they'd be, but... We will get him. Crucible Knights are tough. Tough enough to make, uh, make for some controller-gripping moments. And again, you know, if it's the third one of them that we've seen, and one of those three was a boss, you know it's going to be a badass enemy. I mean, like, sure, we've seen tons of, like, bo minor boss enemies that are just greater enemies in the world, but this is the only one we've seen three of, total. <laughs> and this is also the only one that's able to, like, consistently give me, like, a real tough fight. As far as those legendary kind of knight type bosses go or just like greater enemies that sometimes show up as bosses in dungeons as well Damn it! <laughs> yeah, trying to play defensive with a shield is just not working. I'm gonna go back to two-handing it. I wish I had the Ash of War that this Claymore started with that I could slot back onto it. Because it looks like I lost that when I slotted something else onto this Claymore. And that was a move that did some pretty good damage to these guys. But yeah, I think at this point, like... Just trying to press an attack, dodging where I can, breaking his posture, is the way forward. just sucked. I think I'm just trying to rush out a... Uh a fight against this guy. Because I can take him. We've come close a couple times. And we've taken down two of them already.
And y'all's are sticking with me, so thank you for that. not what I meant to do. Well, at least I healed my poison. on you. It's too bad he didn't go flying off the edge. I think he's programmed not to, though. Come on! There we go. Glad it's always fun for you being here, DK. And see, we got him. Did he even give me anything for that? I don't think he did. I remember riding over on that side with my horse. Yeah, if I got something from him, I just kind of like passed over whatever it was. I was just happy he was dead. Okay, what do we got here now? Mottled necklace. So, uh... Yeah, he didn't give me anything new there. Nothing new there. 
Huh. So we just killed him for the fuck of it? Raises focus. An accoutrement worn by the ancestral followers raises focus. Focus governs resistance to sleep and madness. Said to be a budding horn, the ancestral followers believed that the horns of long-lived beasts continue to bud like antlers over and over again until the beast one day becomes an ancestral spirit. A vividly colored accoutrement precious to the ancestral followers raises immunity, robustness, and focus. Said to be a budding horn, ancestral followers believe that horns are long-lived... Okay. Cool. So... That gave us that. Nothing else? Really? Like, not even a sword? Nothing? Is there... I can just warp out of here, right? Yeah, I can. There's my map fragment. Is that really it? For this one? I guess we went into the wrong... Gate? Um, hmm. Is there something like that he was guarding down here over the edge that not in the slightest? Gave me a bunch. Of, he only gave me like three thousand souls, too. That's a little disappointing. If that's all that was here, I think there isn't even a way back to the four belfries or anything like that. Just come to this little random outcropping. Fight a fight a crucible night. See the stars. Really? Like really? Really? There isn't even a warp over to there. Yeah, there is nothing. Okay. Well... Map fragment will be next on the list because unless there's a new sanctuary key or something since I killed that crucible knight. Um, we kind of done here for now. Secret door? No. Don't have any more imbu imbued sword keys. Sky unceasing. Oh, 
Okay then, well. I guess that's it for this place for now. A little anticlimactic. Such death. I'm feeling lazy. And whatever. This will net me more souls going through the giant forest again. More runes. They are runes. Okay. sloppy of me. Let's go get those back. So what's the message in front of this one then? Precipice of Anticipation. Ah, seems familiar. Precipice of Anticipation is an NPC left note. So that takes me back to the Chapel of Anticipation. This took me to Nokron. Try right, then grace. Crumbling lands. Alright, so I have to find two other swords and they'll take me to two other places there. There's no point in trying to crit him because there's no crit point on his head. Oh, that was close. Did not want to lose those souls. Okay. He's walking over them. It's a good chunk that I do often. Revenge is mine. <laughs> We can just like go around this one. Just, I can easily kill him, but I just feel like making it to that map fragment. Oh. Hmm. 
Have a taste of your own medicine, guys. close you're still here Well, my map fragments that way, and I've already cleared that camp, so bye, guys. Oh. I see. Oh! I really see now. We've got a caravan situation here. a horseman. This could be a pretty nasty one. Let's see if we can 1v1 the horseman. Oh, his buddies took notice. Oh. Do a lot of damage to his horse. Big bad, the big badass is dealt with. Stragglers here. Respect to my horse and to me. No, 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 no. Do not shoot me in the butt with magic. again.
we go. Just gotta be systematic. Ah, and they made it to their destination anyway. And there was a last dude, wasn't there? Yep. There we go, we got them all. Nearly at another level, too. What's in this one? <laughs> Carrion Knight Sword, huh? An int strength, an, an int weapon mainly, okay. Straight sword embedded with a blue glint stone, weapon of knights sworn to carry in royalty. These knights' swords could serve as catalysts, letting them wield sorcerous battle skills. Despite numbering fewer than 20, this power made them ma a match for even the champions of gold in battle. Interesting. Alright. And because we can't no! Was delayed. And goodbye. Oh, you're still alive. There, we fixed that. Now, map fragment is over there. More land octopi. Ooh, there are more towers over there. Like the other two that I found my stone mirror, my stone talismans in. Ah, oh, and of course, there's a bonfire right next to the, uh, to the map point. Well, that's good. Let's pick this up first. West. There we go. Now we've got the entire map for Liurnia. And we can take that off. Short am I? Shy of a ground? Let's round out our strength. It's 28. Let's get it up to 30. So yeah, if I can get my damage over 300, I'll be happy. Won't have to touch it for a while. I can get my Vig up to 25 to round that out. And then we're going to start pumping our uh, Faith up to 20. And see if we can get Mind up to 15. 
start actually putting some faith into this build. There's going to be a boss here, I bet. Because there's a stake right there. King's Realm Ruins. Teleporting mad sorcerers, huh? Hmm. Ah, E.G., forgive me. These royal grounds were placed in our trust. But we stood no chance. Sneaky sorcerers are not required here. Where are you? There you are. Stop running. Aw, glintstone stuff. That's cute. So what else we got in here? Whoa! Traps. now too, huh? Someone running around with a jellyfish shield. You teleported in at the wrong area. Oh! Call it a draw. I am being very careless. Hi. Okay. Ooh. Oh, I see. We'll deal with it later. <laughs> it took me this... I've been so engaged in this game, it took me this lo long to notice a bot snuck a message in my chat. I just had to ban him. No repeat bots. Okay, the... So the mages were... All that's here... It's just mages and, like, those simple mages and wolves. Why was there a stake of Marika up front? Like, this does not seem like a threatening force. Are we back at the start? Yeah, we're back at the start. Right, 
So what do we got up here? Oh, hi. Rimmed crystal bud. More wolves. least favorite thing to do in this game is kill wolves. But they keep on making me. <laughs> okay. So where's the staircase down? Hidden wall? Oh my, it was. That guy's reading a book. This has been the stream of hidden walls. He's reading a book. Literally a butt thwomp. Butt thwomp! <laughs> Spinning slash, repeating thrust, sword dance, those are... Like dex based, storm based. Is this what I think it is? Yep. Hello. You're a smith. Well, look at you. We don't receive many visitors. I presume you are uh, tarnished. What brings you here? Oh, pardon me. It's hardly my place to ask, is it? I am E.G. A blacksmith who once served the Karian royals. An old codger who refuses to retire his rusty hammer. So here I am, still quietly plying my trade on this spot. Hmm. Perhaps you'd like a display? These bones are old, but still able. It's a stone digger troll with a glass helmet that talks and reads books. Purchase from somber smithing stones of all types. Only I had two more. Oh, watch out there. 
When I'm absorbed in my smithing, I lose sight of all else. If you come too close, I'm apt to cause you harm. I am, after all, terribly large compared to you, Tarnish. <laughs> yes, don't you know are. How hard it is not to break anything while I work. I like him. I really like him. Brave tarnished. A word of warning, if you please. This territory once belonged to the Carian royal family. Their manor lies not far beyond this point. When the Rhea Lucaria Academy turned on the Carians, the Knights of the Cuckoo descended on this tract. After leveling it, they carried on to the manor. The Carians were taken off guard. But their strength had not waned, and they repelled the knight's onslaught by conjuring an enchanted snare that remains potent to this day. Mm. That is why I say, Tarnished, don't go near the manor. That sounds like go near the manor. With the corpses of the heedless knights of the cuckoo. Oh! This is the guy that Blyde told me to go see. I've explained the peril of the enchanted snare that remains at the Royal Carrion Manor. Whatever you do, Brave Tarnished, stay away from that death trap. That must be it right there. Blythe actually did that, did he? Quite a rare occurrence for such a guarded soul as he. Perhaps he sensed something unusual about you. At any rate, if you're friendly with Blythe, I've something else that might suit you. Really? What's that? Oh! Carrion Filigree Crest. Lowers FP consumed by skills. Talisman adorned with a royal crest. Lowers FP consumed by skills. An honor said to have once been awarded to Karian knights who served as direct retainers to the kingdom's princesses. Now there is only one princess, Rani, daughter of Renala. Yep, it's counted as an amulet. I've explained of the enchanted whatever you cool. So that must be the Karian Manor. I was originally heading to that church up on the cliff and all that stuff there, but or maybe that's the manor and that's something else entirely. Either way, like Screenshot worthy again. Yep, they're all pointing towards this, so this must be the Karian Manor. Before we do that, I do have another death route that I should drop off at the Bestial Sanctum. And that seems like something I want to tackle a little bit, like, maybe in a stream tomorrow. Because I did want, I was thinking of ending this kind of soon, and I don't want to start, like, a big dungeon right now. Here, have another death route. Your sling. That's a miracle. Or incantation, as they're called now.
swiftly flings numerous sharp rocks. Ten faith. Incantation taught by Garonk, the beast clergyman. Swiftly flings a number of sharp rocks. This incantation can be cast without delay after performing another action. It's said that in the time before the Erd Tree, stones were the first weapons of the beasts who had gained intelligence. I have to try that out. Can't be charged. That's cool. You know what? I am going to do something else. We're going to go back and we're going to hop back into Kalid for a minute. Um, because there's actually a couple of bosses that I want to see about. One that I found with uh, my astrologer earlier today, and uh, the other one was um, and the other one is also in Kalid and right by another catacombs, which I have apparently hit the thing for but let's go try this guy first and dk you're gonna know exactly which boss this is because it's the one that i attempted once that you and the jukashu saw me do this afternoon so let's try him with a swordsman swordsman this time whoa what that's not something i want to have happen getting invaded in the middle of this swamp um Millicent. I don't know if that was an NPC or not. Shouldn't have been. It, should, it can't have been another player, because I'm not co-oping with anyone. Nor have I, uh... Nor have I activated my Taunter's Tongue. Yeah, no, it's an NPC. Well, I guess we'll be killing her first.
Um, I'm sorry? What? Who? Why? Why are you two coming out here as well? That's a bitch. And here I thought I was going to find a boss, and I found something completely different. And really, she should have been dead by now. Come on, Millicent. Alright, you know what? This time we're coming to you. So these are... What's her name? It's not Michaela. Whoa! But these are like... Knights of... Um, the... Character from the... Uh, from the original trailers that was like putting her arm back together and then fighting General Radon in a later trailer. These are her knights. Not too bad when you have a horse. Yep, there it is. this side of grace and let's fight this boss all right neil Commander O'Neill! Mm. Okay, he does some damage. Take a marker.
with a spear like that, he should be introing himself by going, My name is Genbu Masetaka O'Neill! I wonder if he's one of General Radon's boys. Okay, so he doesn't seem to summon more guys afterwards. And just one-on-oneing him with the horse is... Wow, he tired himself out doing that. Let's pack it in with the horse for now. Okay, he's got a fuck off move. Got a couple of fuck off moves. Bit too greedy. That does no damage to him. Summon it again. Oh, he summons a bunch of great axe dudes. I was close. I think we can get this guy. He is a really fun fight. He's cool. I like him. But if you're going to call in help, so am I. Only fair. souls okay help didn't really do anything against him
All right, you. Oh, he healed. Somewhere along the line. Oh! Bye. He was counted as a great enemy. Okay. Commander Standard. And an unalloyed golden needle. That was really cool. Nope, not enough. Okay, so what were those? Commander Standard, let's see the sword. Where is it? Huh? Okay. So it is... Oh, there it is. It's a halberd. A beaten red battle standard is furled around this time-worn halberd. Even after his lord was felled, was fled, Commander O'Neill continued to brandish this flag in the devastation of the rot-eaten field of battle. The sole veteran who remembers this battle with pride. Unique skill of rallying standard. Hoist the war banner aloft and give a rallying command. Raises attack power and defense for self and nearby allies. So good for co-opers. Um, it is a strength weapon. Primarily. Cool. I may use it. Now what about that key item? Snapped intricate needle of unalloyed gold. An intricately crafted needle of unalloyed gold, gold snapped in half. A ritual implement crafted to ward away the meddling of outer gods. It is thought capable of forestalling the incurable rotting sickness. Sage Gowry has designs for this needle. Sage Gowry. I don't even know who that is. Well, anyway... That's one taken care of. We gonna go here. Next. Where did we see that chest high wall? A chest high wall. Okay, there's the Erd tree. Where are you? Thank you, Marker. You have served your purpose. Thank you, Marker. You have served your purpose. Thank you. 
So this is pointing directly down. Going down like that is surefire death. So the only way I'm getting to that catacomb is by fighting that earth tree avatar down there that does the rot. Okay then. Let's do it. with madness so it gave me 920 hi caught you napping didn't I tried. Oh, how they tried. And now for this guy. Hello, buddy. I'm back. Did he cast that Scarlet Rot? God, that stuff flies far. Okay. Not this again. Oh, Jesus Christ. Oh, fuck right off with that. Teleport back to where you start. Oh. 
He's just gonna fucking spam that now? Really? <sighs> that is so obnoxious. Very close. Very close. out of the rot. Not this again. For real. My fuck. Seriously. Like what the why spam that bullshit? Why spam that bullshit? It's... That is... Ugh. I do not like it when they do that. <sighs> to the point where I'm just gonna ignore the fuck out of you for a second so I can get my souls. So he decided to just do that again anyway. You know what? Fuck this guy for now. Let's actually open this. Hit that so we have something there. You know what? You know what? I think I can. Almost. So let's do it. I think I'm just shy by a few, so. There we go. We go 302 damage. Strength at 30. Let's go get this asshole. Come 
Minor Erd Tree Catacombs, even. That's what it's called. So lame. Oh. Like, he can just fuck off and die. I'm going to remember to do that now. I just want him dead, because he was so close to dead last time. That's that time he didn't do the, uh, that. <laughs> that move that he loves so much. And since I died there, I will start at the stake of Marika this time. We got him, though. Like, I'm doing 500 damage a shot to him with the, uh, R2 enhancement from my, um, flask from my Flask of Wonders Physic. Three eleven if it's uncharged. Like, that's pretty good. Ah! <laughs> Why did my dodge not... Like, I thought I pressed it in time. I guess not. Also, I thought I had healed. Oh, and apparently I didn't pick up my souls, so there goes 19th. Oh, wait, no, I did. I leveled, so you know what? Doesn't fucking matter. Why am I even caring about my souls? Let's just kill this guy.
I deserved that. He was backing me off into, like, enemy mobs, too, so that wouldn't have really turned out well. This guy is tough, but we got him. Like, the amount of damage I do to him in a single hit right now. See, now he wants to spam his rot move. Like, he's just spamming all the annoying attacks. Can you not do that? dead now. Got caught up in a tree branch. I really don't like this guy. He's a dick. Like, if you didn't cast Rot... And it was just like all the other Erd Tree avatars wouldn't have a problem. Yep. Meant to dodge. I got greedy there. That's what happened. I was like, ah, I can go for a second shot, and he punished me with the kick. This is exactly how the last stream ended. Fighting a friggin' Erd Tree avatar over and over again until we finally killed him. Seriously.
screw it. Let's see if help uh, helps. Oh, I had my flask of wondrous physic on still. I hadn't. I'm making too many mistakes right now. Like, it is definitely break time. After I kill this guy. Screwing up my dodge timing. Getting myself killed without even getting a shot off. I knew this guy was going to be annoying as fuck, too. I think that's self-defeating. I think that's just self-fulfilling prophecy right there, saying something like that. Not this time, buddy. Green burst crystal tier and flame shroud shrouding crack tier. Whew. Ninety six hundred from him. That's about what I'd expect. That was a tough one. Hmm. Let's see what we can do. This done. Because it's just the catacombs, it can't be that large. Two ways to go. Oh no. No, 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 no. No. Oh, hi.
last thing I needed was a poisoned catacomb. But given where we are, I'm not surprised. Eronian butterfly. Imps up there throwing shit, huh? There's still decent damage. Okay. a dead end, unless... Oh. 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 No. No. Can't I do any crafting? Oh, I don't have the one for rot heals. That's no good. Those imps can still be really sneaky when they want to be. Well, there's the, uh... There's the chest. I see you. Or not chest, the, uh... Contraption. Open the boss door. Somewhere heavy, a door is opened. But where? Yeah, this was a pretty short dungeon. I guess it is by way of the rod. Must be, because there's... Oh, wait, no. There. Hey! Just... Can my lock-on work for a minute, please? Are you hanging? 
hanging out on the ceiling up there. You know? There's a ladder. Oh, crabs. And here I thought we were going to get imps. interesting turn of events. Yeah, after this catacomb, I think we are going to call this stream. Okay. This is definitely got we're getting ambushed written all over it. Where's the one behind me come from? That was a little bit of a frame rate chug. Mm -hmm. Another one. I already found that though. Oh, this, I see. Sacramental bud. Where's the dude who was throwing firebombs at me? Oh, did you fall down there? Yes, you did. You can stay down there, you little bint. Catacombs, bro. Let's find the boss of them now. Find that boss. If you're gonna block my path like this... This is my island. Stay off my island. I said, off the island. Off. 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 Get off. Off my island. Warning. Warning y'all, off my island. It's my island. Ugh. And there's a shrine, Stake of Marika right there. That's nice. Okay, let's see what we got here. Two burial watchdogs. Scepter and sword. Scepter one's gotta die first.
Okay, that's just not nice. You know what? This is one of those ones where, just in case... Wait, why am I... Oh, because I said I'd start at the site of Grace instead of the stake of Marika. Fuck. Okay. You know what? Magamma? Coino? Second one. Oh, maybe not. Callus. Sigrunt. All right, Sigrunt. I like you. Or Zora. No, 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 really. Aria of the Soul. Drew. I think I was just like trying to go for too many people at once. What an idiot. Fuck it, let's go. going the wrong way. Just speed run strats into the boss, buddy. That's all we're doing. Sarah Big A. summon if 
she comes in, she comes in. Good, that's one. Comes much more manageable with two people. Pumpkin heads ashes. Thank you very much, competent sorcerer. I have no shame, like, summoning help to kill those two. That was. They were gonna be ganky like that. I was gonna. take them out for it. But yeah, this is definitely a good place to call it. We are going to get the hell out of Kaled and get back to where we was before. Road to the manor. Alright, so there we are. So, next stream, which will be tomorrow evening, we are going into that manor and checking it out because we were told not to. So, what could go wrong? Who knows? Not me. But we'll find out soon enough. And again, thank you everyone who joined in, tuned in, stuck around to the end. Shoutouts, of course, to the Drew Kashu, Puppy Bello, DK, and Mr. Drew. All of you for sounding out in chat. All of y'all are... Through and through. You're all fucking magnificent bastards. And I bow to thee. So tomorrow, I may be back before work with another astrologer stream. We'll see. But after work, we back on this stuff. So we'll see y'all then. Until then, y'all take care. Much love to y'all. Bye-bye.